Hudson. We finished analyzing that mainframe that Mason Woods brought from Yamato. And? Perseus was looking for the names of sleeper agents Dragovich used in 68. Give us those names. We'll get Adler's team to track them down. Perseus erased them. Fuck me. There's only one place you're gonna find that information now. The Lubyanka building. What? KGB headquarters? Why didn't Perseus get them there himself? I don't know. Maybe he's operating without authorization. I'll let Adler know. But we're gonna do this the right way. We're not gonna do it at all. Just got word. Belikov is back in Moscow. You guys know the plan. Bell, you with me. Lazar, be ready for exfil. Are you taking him into the KGB with you? Are you crazy? Wait for Mason or Woods to return. I don't need Mason or Woods. I need Bell. He's got the skill we need. Are you enjoying this? You're risking the entire operation unnecessarily. It's not unnecessary. It's calculated. Just understand that if you botch this, we can't get those names. It's over. I know you can do this. Hudson doesn't trust anyone he can't control. Alright. I'll do some digging. Oh, that new enlarger came in. I set it up in the dark room for you. Curious. Does the name Madame Shell mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. What's on your mind? This isn't the first government agency I've broken into. The best are virtually impenetrable. But there's always a weakness. In this case, the weakness is the KGB placing too much trust in one of their own. Scar? You mean this? Is it noticeable? I jumped off a roof in Calcutta back in 75 while chasing a Soviet agent. The jump was successful. The landing, not so much. Advice? Always make sure you know where the utility poles are. If there was ever an operation suited to your skill set, it's this one. I handle the talking. You get us the names. Why do you ask? I don't. He's not one of mine. If I couldn't put my life in the hands of vetted strangers, I'd be in a different line of work. No. MI6 focuses mainly on the perimeter. Agents in client states. Smaller figures within the USSR. They go from the outside in. Belikov is one of ours. Supposedly. I'm trusting Hudson here. The man can be a pain in the ass, but he's no fool. Okay. Oof. That's a dirty gun. Right. So imagine. Have you come to convince me that you should be headlining this operation? Oh, is that right? Well, at least you're not hiding behind Adler. I'll grant you that. Now, what is it? That's on a need to know basis. From where I'm standing, there's no reason in hell you need to know that. You're to make contact with him and follow Adler's lead. Negative. Digging into the KGB's most classified database would blow his cover and burn years of posturing. He'll get you in, but he won't go near that list of names. We can't take the time to fabricate them. Belikov will get you uniforms, and from there you'll need to improvise. Strategically speaking, this board is on insanity which is precisely the type of work we rely on Adler for. Either as Adler's most trusted ally, or as cannon fodder. An excellent proposition. Time to break out your Russian, Bell. 
Well, she's... <laughs> you know what this dude thinks about Park. She's a true professional. I don't trust anyone at first, but after Berlin, I realize she's the real deal. Park's one of the guys to me. <laughs> one of the guys my ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell no. KGB headquarters? Just between you and me. And me? And Sims. I hope I never get closer than pulling up in a car and picking you up. This has every chance of going tits down. Up, man. Tits up. Up, down. What's the difference? Your ex KGB, right? You ever been in there? Sorry. I shouldn't even ask you things like that. It was a different life. Better left forgotten. Yep. It's a long way to Moscow. Nope. 